Imagine a world, another 2019, another universe, a world with a Corbyn government. Imagine you're conservative. Imagine that back in 2017, they won the election, gaining a slim majority, 332 seats in the House of Commons. On this basis, they launch a radically left-wing agenda. For sake of argument for this scenario, let's imagine that many of the worst scaremongering stories about such a government came to pass. The value of the pound crashes, capital flight leaves the country for parts unknown, UK debt soars as Corbyn's government engages in a renationalisation spending spree that overnight changes the landscape of Britain forever. Anti-Semitic sentiment soars and foreign policy begins to shift in a way that greatly disfavours Israel, all under a fig leaf of anti-capitalism. Imagine that while all this is going on, it emerges that there were electoral irregularities. Powerful and wealthy investors with links to the Saudi government poured money via dubious means and with an obfuscated source, supposedly via investments in Venezuela's PDVSA, into Labour's campaign. Imagine that this was found to breach electoral law after the fact, an overspend of what was permitted by 10% or more in each and every Labour constituency. But that these elections couldn't be overturned or by elections be forced due to some arcane procedural technicality and the fact that a case couldn't be prepared by an arbitrary and unrealistic deadline. Imagine that the High Court agreed that this funding was illegal, but also that they couldn't do anything about it. Imagine that it further emerged that the Labour campaign, via momentum and the involvement of a mysterious company registered in the United Arab Emirates, had deliberately targeted far-left communist and Antifa groups with anti-Semitic and other propaganda to try and bring them into the Corbynista fold, and that this money and this information couldn't and wouldn't be released by the social media companies through which it was pressed. Imagine more and more similar stories, similar deceptions kept coming to light week in, week out, while the Corbyn government continued to press its far left agenda. Wouldn't you be angry? Wouldn't you see this as an affront to democracy? Wouldn't you demand, at the very least, that the election be rerun cleanly? You don't have to imagine. This is what happened, like for like. But it wasn't Corbyn. It was the Leave campaign. Feel our pain. Old Fat Punks is part caper, part comedy, part nostalgia and part commentary. It follows three ageing punks as they build themselves up for one big, nihilistic last hurrah. You can buy Old Fat Punks at Amazon, Drive Through Fiction or Lulu.com. Follow the links below or search on those sites.